Welcome back, Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamers. Pick up video number nine, more SNES stuff. These are the SNES stuff I've picked up in the last six months or so. And if you've ever seen my previous pickup videos, then you already know that I don't like to pay more than $5 a game. And out of these 40 games, I only paid more than $5 for one of them. So let's check them out. The first eight games I picked up at a flea market for $3 or less a game. They are... Flax. Hey, punk, are you tough enough? Sports Illustrated Championship Football and Baseball. Caesar's Palace. Yoshi Safari. The Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse, Sim City, and Super Battleship. The next 11 games I got at a yard sale for $20, which also included the Super Nintendo system, so I got a great deal there. Let's take a look at the two loose carts first. They are Pink Goes to Hollywood and Super Mario Kart. Now let's take a look at the complete in-box games. They are Monopoly, Family Feud, Beethoven, The Lion King, Zoop, The Simpsons, Bart's Nightmare, Pac-Man 2, Paperboy 2, and Tetris Attack. The next 11 games I got was a lot off of eBay. Including shipping, I paid about $1.70 a game. They are, we're back, A Dinosaur Story, Battle Clash, NBA Jam, Tasmania, Brom Stoker's Dracula, Rise of the Robots, Troy Aikman's Football, Cool World, D4's, PGA Tour 96, and Draken. The next eight games I got at a local book and music exchange, and I paid $5 a game. They are Romance of the Three Kingdoms 2, Samurai Showdown, Rampart, Double Dragon 5, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Gradius 3, Super R-Type, and Captain America and the Avengers. The next game I got was off of eBay, and I think I paid about $8 for it. It is Ultima the False Prophet. And the last game I got was at a thrift store for $1, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. The next two items are a couple hint books that I picked up at Goodwills for I think about a dollar. They are Mortal Kombat 1 and Killer Instinct. The last item I picked up for one dollar at an auction was an accessory called the Power Plug. This turns a regular controller into a turbo controller and does some other cool stuff. So this concludes Jay the Classic Gamer's pickup video number 9, more SNES stuff. I want to thank you again for watching and thanks for the support.